many people think that a butterfly farmer is this guy with <laughs> big piece of land. Right. right. It's a guy in the backyard, mm -hmm. right? Half of them is a backyard wow. and they do magic there, right? They have their cabinets and their plants. And we shifted as a country, right? The yeah. whole conservationist mindset that we have is a highlight of the whole country, like breeders in different areas of the country who could really collaborate and then work with the one exporter. But we have been doing this for 41 years and it's still working and is the reason why Costa Rica has become the number one exporter without putting in danger any of the wildlife population. Mm -hmm. Everything is stable. Dealing with external threats, which is Half of the breeders that we have in Costa Rica are located in a very humid area. It's the Mecca, right? Okay. That's where everybody's there, family after family got involved. So we have, again, 50, 60% of the breeders are there. Mm -hmm. Their farms are being surrounded by big monocultures. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, surgery, I don't know, uh, my larvae was looking healthy, and then suddenly all of them die. Yeah. And we're noticing certain correlation with uh, pesticide. Pesticide drift, and I was just thinking exactly. that. Exactly, yep. pesticide drift. So it's yeah. like, oh, yeah. So we're having to also expand the breeders into other regions, keep the network, let's say, yeah. uh, structured in a way that is uh, that works for, for everybody. Absolutely.